inside the new era boxing gym. Friday's practice. Just a sad day. Hurt, not physically, but emotionally. La verdad, uh... Coach Jose Enriquez Ramirez says it's truly painful. His gym sits along Lasseter Road, steps away from the site of the tragic car wreck, where one of the gym's very own 12-year-old Kevin Briones took his last breath. He was one of the kids that was here the longest here with us. Thursday morning, Kevin rode around in an SUV. Dallas police say it was driven by another 12-year-old. A third 12-year-old and an 11-year-old were also in the SUV. It sped south on Lassiter Road in Mesquite towards Segaville, then crashed into a tree. Son niños que, que los conocimos. Coach Ramirez says he recently coached Kevin and his brothers. Kevin's brother was also in the SUV when Kevin died. Police say the three surviving boys are recovering. He says, we knew how he laughed, played. We knew him. That's why a loss like this is painful. Kevin's mother, heartbroken, and didn't want to go on camera. She told us she had no idea the boys were out riding that early. They were supposed to be asleep. And Kevin was supposed to turn 13 next month. He was the oldest of her three boys and loved soccer. She says her other son is home now, but too devastated to even speak. All day Friday. Well, this is my first, no, this is my last first time losing a friend. Friends stopped by a memorial site at the crash site to say goodbye. He's just a horrible loss. We're going to miss him. He was a nice kid. The place where Kevin died is less than a mile from where his family lives. Now a painful daily reminder. You know, just to know that this little kid just didn't make it out to um, live his, his life to the fullest, you know. That's what hurts this community the most. In Mesquite, I'm Adriana Delm. Tonight, a GoFundMe account has been set up to help the Briones family with funeral expenses, and you can find a link to it in this story on WFAA.com.